Irish food has a lot to offer. One of the most important things is the fact that it feels very close to where it comes from. You know, you get a real sense of the land, you get a real sense of the sea, you get a real sense that the fisherman, the farmer, the cheesemaker is really involved in bringing the product to your plate, and that's incredibly important. So I think what Irish food has to offer is, you know, incredibly high quality raw materials. And those raw materials just bring a sense of satisfaction because there's simplicity, there's comfort, there's integrity, there's flavor. You know, all the, all the stuff that we seek from food is here to be found in Ireland, abundantly. Culture and heritage are increasingly going to be one of the major drivers for high value tourism. You know, there are lots of places in the world that are peddling sun and sand and cocktails and that's wonderful. That's not what we've got. I think what we've got is much more important because it's going to appeal very powerfully to um, tourists who are going to spend more time, going to spend more money, going to make more repeat visits. We have a very, very profound cultural offering. Hundreds of years, thousands of years of historic landscape, historic buildings, cultural institutions. All of these things are becoming increasingly important because they're distinctive. They can't be copied. They can't travel. You've got to come to them and we've got these unique assets. And these unique assets are our history, our heritage, and our culture. And people will increasingly prize them as the world becomes more homogenized and more globalized. You know, what we've got to offer is different, and difference is valuable. But I think it would be very helpful if the tourism sector spent more time looking at the cultural and heritage sector and kind of abandon any ideas that they still might have that it's all very sort of highbrow and exclusive and so on. Because it's not. Everyone, anyone, whatever education they've had, whatever walk of life they come from, can be inspired by our heritage and can be entertained by our heritage and by our culture. And I think the tourism industry is beginning to understand that, but really needs to get on message with that. That, you know, culture and heritage is not an elitist enterprise. It's for everyone, and it's for every traveler. Ireland has, has so much to offer. You know, I've been visiting here pretty regularly for over 30 years, and I feel that I still have only scratched the surface. Um, in terms of the landscape, the architecture, the cultural institutions. I mean, for example, the National Gallery of Ireland is one of the great galleries in Europe. Um, the general way of life, the food, the drink, you know, it's a pretty long list. I mean, most of the really good things in life can be found in Ireland. And the joy is discovering them. As you explore Ireland, every, every bit of it is, is different. You know, there's an incredible amount of, of regional distinctiveness in a relatively small country. And that's, that really is quite significant because it means you can, you can spend a lot of time here. And also, anyone with any interest in the sporting life, as it were, you know, there's so much to do here in terms of, you know, whether it's horses or fishing or golf, it's, you know, it, it is a, a, a wonderful, wonderful sort of grown-up playground. There's no question about that. <laughs>